Sew an adorable mini bag charm with amber makes. Cut out all the fabric pieces listed here. Then cut out one centimetre squares from the bottom corners of the front, back and linings. Now you can start sewing. Use a five millimetre seam allowance for all the seams. Take one bag charm handle and fold and press it in half lengthways with wrong sides facing. Open it out and fold the two raw long edges over to the wrong side so they meet at the centre crease. Fold it in half lengthways again to encase the raw edges. Top stitch down the length to hold in place. Then make the other handle in exactly the same way. Measure 1.5 centimetres in from the left hand side of the bag charm front and mark with a pin. Take one handle and pin one short end right sides facing to the bag charm front so that its outer edge lines up with the pin and its top edge extends one centimetre above to make it more secure. Measure 1.5 centimetres from the right hand side and take the other end of the handle and pin it in place in the same way. Tack the ends of the handle in place, then repeat this with the other handle and bag charm back. Once both handles are tacked in place, take the bag charm lining front and place it right sides facing with the bag charm front matching top raw edges. Pin them together all the way along the top edge. Stitch together across the top, encasing the ends of the handle as you go. Then place the bag charm lining back, right sides facing on top of the bag charm back and stitch them together across the top edge in the same way. Open up the joined front outer and front lining pieces and press the seam open. Repeat this with the joined back outer and the joined back lining pieces. Place them on top of each other so that the outers are right sides facing and the linings are right sides facing. Pin them together on one side matching up the seams Then turn it around and pin them together on the other side, again matching up the seams for a neat finish. Now you need to pin the lining pieces together, matching all the raw edges and the cut out corners. Place pins down the sides and across the bottom edge. Next, pin the outer pieces together, matching up all the raw edges again. You'll need to leave a 2.5 cm gap unstitched in the bottom edge of the lining, so mark this with pins to remind you to do this. Stitch the outer and lining together all the way round, starting at one side of the mark gap in the lining. Don't stitch around the cutout corners of the outers and the lining as you'll need these later for making the box corners. Remember to reverse stitch at the beginning and end of each seam so they don't come undone later when you're sewing the bag together. Continue stitching all the way round the outer and linings, removing the pins as you go. Stitch together across the bottom seam of the outer. You don't need to leave a gap in this one though. Now you can stitch down the side of the outer across the seam, holding it flat so that the seam stays open 
and then fish finishing at the other end of the lining. To finish off, stitch up to the other marked gap in the lining, remembering to reverse stitch at the end of it so that the seam is secure. To give the bag a little shape, you need to box the corners. Start with one outer corner by pulling the front and back pieces apart. Open out the seam allowances on the side and bottom edges and finger press them flat. This will help them to lie flatter when you sew. Pin them together so the side seam and the bottom seam match up. Then repeat this to pin together the outer outer corner and the two lining corners. Sew together across one pinned corner, reverse stitching at either end. Then sew the other three corners in the same way, stitching across the lining corners and the outer corners to finish boxing all of them. Turn the bag charm right sides out through the turning gap that you left unstitched in the lining earlier. This is a little fiddly as the gap is small and you've got several layers to get through. But if you take it slowly and ease the fabrics out gradually through the gap in the lining, then you will turn it out and it will look nice and neat. Once it's all turned right sides out, push your fingers inside and push out the corners so that they lie flat. Fold the raw edges of the gap of the lining to the inside and stitch together to hold it closed. Now push the bag lining inside the bag outer so the corners match up at the bottom. If you want to hang your bag charm onto a handle or a zip end, then use a split ring. Open at the split ring slightly using your nails and thread one handle through it. Then thread the other handle through it. Turn the split ring around until both handles are inside. Congratulations, your cute little bag charm is now finished. Give it a press and it's ready to hang.